Ah yes, another Sony a7C II and a7CR video. In this video, we're going to be going over some of my favorite and what I think are the best accessories you can buy for the Sony a7C II and the Sony a7CR. There are links in the description for everything that I mentioned in this video, so you can go over to Amazon and check them out for yourself. One of my favorite aspects of the Sony a7C line of cameras is that it has a lot more character compared to the other cameras that Sony offers. Combine that with a wide range of accessories, you can really make your a7C unique compared to everyone else's, and improve the overall shooting experience as well. So if you own the Sony a7C II or the a7CR, I would highly suggest checking out these accessories, and most of them are pretty affordable so you won't have to worry about them draining your wallet. So the first accessory that I have to recommend is the small rig grip extension. The first thing I will say is this grip looks so good on this camera. If you have a silver a7C II or a7CR, this accessory is a must. The silver of the grip matches the silver of the top of the camera actually extremely well, and it adds to that retro aesthetic that drew me to buying this camera in the first place. It's a fairly minimal grip that makes the camera much more comfortable to hold. Without increasing the overall size of the camera too dramatically, it adds just enough room for you to rest your pinky rather than resting your pinky underneath the camera. It's also Arca Swiss compatible, which makes mounting on a tripod extremely easy without having to use an adapter. Which leads us into the next accessory, the small rig video tripod. Now I've gone through many tripods over the years, trying to find the right one that has the perfect balance of being affordable, yet functional. Now I'm not a big fan of ball head tripods, so I recently got this one and it's become my absolute favorite one to use for shooting videos and taking photos. Compared to a ball head tripod, adjusting your framing and composition is so much easier on this kind of tripod. And it's relatively affordable when compared to other very expensive tripods. Yet this one ticks boxes for me that those more expensive tripods don't even do. When collapsed, it is very compact and easy to transport. Whether it's in the bag that's included when you buy it, or by the carrying strap that's attached to the actual tripod itself. I found myself personally not even using the bag that's included, but just using the carrying strap, because I can just toss my tripod in the car and grab it when I need it and it doesn't feel like a chore to carry around. So the small rig video tripod is definitely my favorite tripod that I have ever used. Next up is the thumb grip for the Sony a7C. Now if you've never used a thumb grip before, then you don't know what you're missing out on. The a7C is a very small compact camera with a fairly shallow grip, which means it's easier to accidentally drop your camera, especially if you don't have a strap attached. Adding a thumb grip to your camera adds a comfortable amount of leverage that makes the camera a lot more comfortable to hold and it improves the overall shooting experience. It doesn't block any buttons or dials on the back of the camera, so you don't have to worry about it getting in the way. Not to mention when combined with the small rig grip I mentioned earlier, it gives the camera a very Leica or Fujifilm look and feel. I have a silver thumb grip, but it's been sold out on Amazon for a while. I will link the black one in the description, but if you just do a simple Google search of A7C thumb grip, you will find the silver one available on various other websites. Regardless, I absolutely love using a thumb grip and I highly recommend it to everyone. I mean, just look at how cool it makes this camera look when combined with that grip. And it's super functional. And then we have the iCup, which is available for the Sony a7C II and a7CR. Honestly, if there's one accessory out of this entire list that I would highly recommend everyone buy, it would be this. For whatever reason, when Sony designed the a7C II and a7CR, they decided not to put an iCup on the viewfinder which can make it extremely difficult to shoot in either harsh daylight or even sunset, especially if you have your back to the camera. It's a very soft rubbery plastic material that is very comfortable to use when you hold it up to your eye, and it prevents any light from leaking in and blinding you when you're trying to look through the viewfinder. The only real fault of the iCup is that it attaches through the hot shoe mount, which means it's not compatible with the thumb grip or the next item I'm about to mention on the list which is the Godox Lux Junior Flash. Like the other accessories on the list, the flash just looks amazing on this camera. Not to mention it's super compact, so it kind of just fits in perfectly with the a7C, that way you don't have to have a giant flash that's twice the size of the actual camera, and it just kind of looks funky and it doesn't really feel very balanced. 
The silver matches the camera itself extremely well and almost makes it feel like it's made for this camera. Now, I'm not usually a big fan of flashes because the controls and settings can be pretty confusing, especially if you don't bother reading the manual, like me, which I probably should. But the controls on this flash are as simple and straightforward as they can possibly be. There's not very many switches and dials on this flash. There's one switch for the off, manual, and automatic, then you have the dial that actually controls the brightness of the flash, and then you have a switch on the side for the channel that you want to sync your flash to. And that's all there is to this flash. It's literally that simple. I've always hated using flashes in the past, but this one makes it so easy that I want to find a way to incorporate more flash into my photography. And the final accessory that I highly recommend everyone consider is picking up a good strap for your camera. The strap that is included with the camera is not bad, but it's also not great. But once you move over to the peak design system of the camera strap anchors, you'll never look back. Now, Peak Design has their own wide range of camera straps, but my personal favorites are made by Clever Supply Co. These are high quality leather straps that are available in a wide variety of colors and sizes. Personally, recently I've been using the 36 inch non adjustable strap, but I do have an adjustable one as well, both in the English tan color. They also have non-Peak Design versions of all of their straps available as well, but I personally find the Peak Design anchors just way too convenient to easily take your strap on and off. And that's it for what I think are the best accessories that you can buy for the Sony a7C II and the a7CR. I am a big fan of aesthetics and functionality, so all of the accessories I've mentioned are what I've found to be the best of both worlds. And they all dramatically improve the overall shooting experience with this camera, which I think is vital because you want your camera to be fun and enjoyable to use, so that inspires you to go out more and shoot more photos and take more videos. At its heart, photography is supposed to be fun, and deep down I think that's what the A7C series of cameras is all about. So thanks for watching the video guys, if you enjoyed this video please like the video and subscribe to help support me, and I hope I could inspire you guys to get out and take more photos. Go out and shoot.